Hey guys, it's Jake. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a wholesale account for your clothing brand. I've made some videos comparing different shirts and hoodies in previous YouTube videos, and I talk about the retail and the wholesale price of the garments, but I never really explain how to get the whole, like how to actually access to get the wholesale account in the first place. So let's go to some of these websites and check out the vendor wholesale application. So there's lots of vendors you can get a wholesale account from, but their application process is a little different. So I'm going to run through a couple of the vendors that I use, and I specifically chose these vendors because their application process shows certain fields that you need to fill in and i want to make sure that you guys see all the potential you know fields you could possibly see okay so we're first going to start with la apparel so this is their home page so there's a wholesale button up here there might be one down here right there so it doesn't really matter which one you click so i'm not signed in i already have an account with them but i signed out for the you know purpose of the, the video so sign up Okay, so I'm not going to click on any of these fields because I have auto Google autofill on and I don't want you guys seeing my address and number and stuff. But, you know, you have your first name, last name, your email address, your actual shipping address, your company name. I don't know what these PPAIAC things are. They don't have the star next to it, so they're not required. You could Or ASI, you can Google what they do, but, you know, I just ignore them. Primary business activity, branded apparel, most likely branded apparel. E-commerce too, but like you're going to be like assuming you're, you want to start a clothing brand, you do branded apparel. Number of outside sales rep, I'm assuming if you're just starting out, it's going to be none. And then you create a password for your account and you click, I'm not a robot, and I agree. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm not going to do this. I forget the exact process, what happens after this, but you might get a confirmation email and they may take a day or two to like review your account and then you'll be accepted like that. Sometimes you'll get like a confirmation email that requests like more information from you, like maybe a picture of your driver's license or ID or a picture of your EIN number, which is also called your federal tax ID number, which you can get from calling the IRS and you need a seller's permit to get this number. I'm not talking about the seller's permit right now, but later in the video, when I get to a specific vendor, I will bring it up again. So LA Apparel is super easy, just your basic information, nothing too intrusive, and then you make an account. So now we are on Independent Trading Co. and there's a wholesale button up here. Click on that, create wholesale account. So I'm not going to click these fields again because it's going to, you know, autofill my stuff, but your company name, your address, phone number, first name, email address, business activity, retail, clothing, look for that. Sales reps, none, employees, location, whatever you want. How'd you hear about us? Whatever. Password for your account. And then like an email thing. And then I agree. It is that easy. Again, I did this stuff a long time ago, so I'm not sure if they send like a follow-up email asking for other pieces of information but some people don't know how to get a wholesale account so they don't even take any steps to do it because they think it's some daunting task it's very easy very very we're already done to two vendors so next we are going to as color which i use a lot for hoodies and t-shirts i'm not signed in so i want to go to the bottom wholesale pricing application right at the bottom so first name, company, website, phone number, all the stuff, address, type of business, number of employees, submit form. That's it. Again, follow-up email, may ask for more stuff, but that's essentially easy. You know, some vendors, but most don't. We've already covered three, LA Apparel, Independent Trading Co., AS Color. None of them ask you for, like, sales that you've had or how much money or income you plan to make. Like, you could, you could order one hoodie, one shirt at a time, or you could order 500 at a time. There's not minimums when you have these wholesale accounts. So lastly, we're doing Rue Porter. So wholesale store. Um, apply, here it is. Okay. So email, password, first name, last name, address, brand name, Instagram, which is required for some reason. Projected volume. Okay, so th for this application, you have to uh, kind of give them a heads up on uh, a little bit more accurately what your business is like and what the behavior is. Date established. 
How'd you hear about a seller's permit? So this is the thing that some people can get scared from. The seller's permit, um, uh, sales and use tax license, reseller's account, they're all different names. There's a specific number it's asking for. It's asking for the EIN number, federal tax ID number, which I mentioned earlier. You can get it from the IRS. You can call them and say, yo, I want that EIN number. You can also get it from your business tax return, not your personal tax return. You know, if, you, if you're, an employee somewhere not that one has to be f taxes you filed under your business and then you get a return from that and then you click register and that's it so just like the previous three you may get a confirmation email it'll take a couple more days or you were accepted or rejected I don't think there's any reason you would get rejected from LA Apparel independent or AS color maybe Rue Porter because they're specifically asking for like volume and I don't know, maybe Instagram if they think you're valid enough to work with them. I don't know. I don't know how uh, strict they are in accepting people. But uh, yeah, it's really that easy. So I went over four different vendors. These are people that I use. Maybe they're people that you would find interesting. But all the wholesale prices from any vendor you go to are going to look almost exactly like what you just saw. So Rue Porter required the seller's permit number, also called the EIN number, federal tax ID number, and sales and use tax sales and use tax license number they all mean the same thing so if you didn't have a sales and use tax license or a seller's permit resale license all the same thing you could apply to la apparel as color and independent trading co but you would not be able to apply to root porter so i wrote down a definition of the seller's permit i can't memorize this so i'm just going to read it off my laptop a seller's permit is basically an allowance by your state to not pay for taxes when purchasing wholesale goods. What I mean by this is that if I'm buying, let's say, 50 shirts, I only pay for the cost of the shirts and the shipping price. I don't have to pay the vendor any tax on that sale. The seller's permit basically moves the tax burden from the vendor to you. So the vendor doesn't charge you any taxes, but you have to charge your customers tax and then you pay that back to your government. The seller's permit basically moves the tax burden from the vendor to you. So the vendor doesn't charge you any taxes. You have to charge your customers tax. So if it's like the customers and then you and then the wherever you're buying the wholesale stuff from, the tax burden gets moved down. So now it's just between you and the customers instead of you and the wholesaler. So I live in California and I went to the cdtfa.ca.gov website, which is the California Department of tax and fee administration cat.gov so if you live in california i could help you 100 percent how to do this if you live in any other state i'm assuming the whole process would be about the same find the sales and use tax department website for montana wyoming wisconsin hawaii whatever go on their website find the contact number give them a phone call and say hey i'm a brand clothing brand owner or a business owner and i want to get a seller's permit i want to get a resale license uh, can you help me do that can you walk me through the steps on this website assuming you're on the tax department website and how to apply and get this um this license to do this wholesale stuff and they will help you so just phone call it's the easiest thing people don't like to make phone calls anymore make a phone call it'll make it so much easier if you do encounter any problems or you're not really sure where to go, you can just DM me on Instagram or leave a comment in these YouTube videos. I check them every day. So I'll do my best to help you. I only know this process for like states in the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., I will not know how to help you because I don't know what shit's like over there and their policies and protocol with wholesale and stuff like that. But in the U.S., I'm good. So that's pretty much the video. It really is that easy. You go to the website, you find the little wholesale button, click it, fill it out. Most vendors don't require the federal tax ID number, only specific ones. I know Root Porter for sure because we just saw it. And I think there was one other one, but I can't remember their name. But chances are whatever wholesale vendor, website, company, brand, whatever you want to go with, eight out of ten times, they're not going to require that number. But for those who want to do Root Porter or these more specific vendors, uh, go to the tax department website, call them, tell them what you want, and follow their their steps, and it's that easy. One more thing regarding having a sales and use tax license. Once you sign up for that, your name is like in the system, and now you have to, you have to pay quarterly uh, tax 
through the website. At least that's what I do. I use the California Department website, and they send me like text reminders, email reminders, and like in person letter reminders to say, hey, you have to pay your tar- taxes in in two weeks, three weeks. This is like a little heads up, and uh, you can be a little late. There are fees associated. They're not gonna like destroy your bank account, but you know. If you do want to get wholesale prices, you have to get a seller's permit. And once you get a seller's permit, you have to pay these taxes that are now tied to your business. So that's like a whole nother video. Most of these tax, like in browser program softwares that are with these department websites, they offer tutorials. They offer like how to do this. They're not super extensive, but they give like a basic understanding of, you know, input your revenue, input your non taxable. Shit, all these different fields you can enter and um, they walk you through how to do it. So be mindful when you're getting the seller's permit that this is now a obligation that you have to do every single three months. So remember that too. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you like me and check out my clothing brand. It's pretty cool.